In this video, I'm gonna show you how to edit your TikTok videos in Adobe Premiere Pro. And I'm also gonna go over a few things like how to get the right dimensions for TikTok, how to export it correctly with the highest quality as possible, how to easily transfer the file between devices, and finally, how to upload it to TikTok and add music to it. So I'm basically gonna try to show you all of the pieces of the puzzle of creating your videos in Adobe Premiere Pro and then uploading it to TikTok without missing any part of the process. So without further ado, let's get right into Adobe Premiere Pro and start editing. All right, guys, welcome inside of my computer. So as you guys can see, I have loaded Adobe Premiere Pro and I've imported my footage for my TikTok video and made a rough edit so it's pretty much ready for TikTok. The problem now is that this video isn't in the right format. TikTok uses a different format than YouTube and pretty much any other platform. The format for TikTok is meant to fill out the whole screen on your phone. So it's a way different format than we are used to and it's also different from what your camera is shooting. So what I'm gonna do now is change this so it fits on a phone. So to do that, you go to sequence and then sequence settings. And then here where it says frame size, you want to flip these two so it says 1080 by 1920. So I'm just gonna do that now. And everything else you can pretty much just leave as it is. Then we'll click OK and OK. And then it looks like this. And we don't really want these ugly black bars, so we are gonna do something about that as well. So to change that, we go to our clip right here, and then we are gonna find effect control. And then we want to scale it until it fits the frame. So right about there. And then I'm gonna adjust it so it fits as well as possible. All right, so I played around with the scale and the position and made sure that I was in frame for the whole sequence. And I don't think it's gonna get better than this, so we actually have our end product here. So let's move on to exporting this video. So to do that, I'm gonna go to File and Export Media. And then I can give it a name right here. So I'm just gonna name it Test Video and then I can choose where to save it. I'm just gonna save it in documents. Then I click save. And then what I have found is the best way to export it is uh, to export it as YouTube 1080p. And then we are gonna change this again to 1080 by 1920. There you go. And then it fits. And then I always click on use maximum render quality. And there you go, then you click export. All right guys, so now that we have the finished product ready, we need to get the file from the computer and over to our phone so we can upload it to TikTok. And we can actually do that in a couple of different ways. I personally always use AirDrop because I have both an iPhone and a MacBook, so that just makes it super easy to airdrop the file from one device to another. But I know that not all of you are gonna be Apple fanboys just like I am, so maybe you don't have the option to airdrop. But don't worry, I have a great solution for you as well. What I would suggest that you use is a service like Dropbox or Google Drive. You can easily just create a free trial on Dropbox and get two gigabytes of free storage. That is gonna be enough when we work with such short videos. They aren't gonna take up that much space. So let me show you real quick how that works. So what you wanna do is find your video on your computer. So mine is right here. And then drop it in Dropbox. So now I have it in Dropbox so I can find it in the Dropbox app on my phone. So let's open Dropbox on my phone. And then you can see I have the app right here in a folder specifically for TikTok. So I'm just gonna click on the three dots below the video and then click on export and then click on save video. And then it's gonna save the video on my phone so I can find it on my camera roll. There you go, so now let's upload it to TikTok and sync it with some audio. So I'm just gonna open TikTok and then click on the plus sign. Hey guys. Uh, and then I'm gonna click on upload. And then my video is right here. All right, so I have my video ready on TikTok, so now let's add some sound to it. So to do that, I'm gonna click on sound, then you can search for a sound. Let's just take uh, Pop Smoke, then I'm just gonna pick this one. And there you go, now I have some music added to my video. I can also go and adjust the volume of both of my tracks. I can 
adjust the volume of my original sound, and also the added sound on TikTok if I want to do that. So that's basically it. I have my final video on TikTok uploaded with added music on it and everything. And it's in pretty high quality as you guys can probably see. So if you want to watch more of my videos about TikTok, then make sure you watch these videos over here. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.